Not even for the princess. But father, I have no choice. He was there and he was the first to choose to embark on that journey. And if he goes and succeeds and saves the princess, we will have no choice then to lose. Moreover, if we don't go and the princess dies, we will still have nothing to fight for. Let her die! Let the princess die! I don't care! You are my only son. I can't allow you to go to Ajago Forest. For no reason. Not even for this kingdom. Not to talk of the princess. You are going nowhere, Otadili. Let Azuna that has accepted to go, let him go to the forest and die. Then you can ascend the throne. Father, I cannot go back on my words. If I do, then I will be considered a weakling. Says who? Who says you are a weakling? You will not go to that forest. Otadili. A living dog is better than a dead lion. You are going nowhere! Father, I have spoken and I cannot go back on my words. Your words cannot overrun mine! Oh, Daddy, come back here! Oh, Daddy, you are going nowhere! You cannot die for this kingdom! Oh, Daddy, you cannot die! <laughs> Today is a great day in the history of our community, Owane. Since the days of our ancestors, two men wrestled and no one could defeat each other. Or win the heart of my precious daughter, Princess Olama, a marriage. Both of you fought bravely at the village square today. And here, we are without a winner. Or better say, winners, because we are supposed to have one winner. Even the gods will marvel at such display of trick and strength today. We, the people of Uwani, stand for truth and justice. Today, we plan to choose a young man that will marry the princess and also become the next king of this great community. But since both of you came out top in this competition, well, we are going to find another way to choose who this young man will be. Your bat refused to touch the ground today. And the god must be proud of you both. <sighs> My king, remember, we have to choose an heir to the throne and a suitable man for the princess. Ezemo, you're right, but not today. Young men, you have to go back to your homes and rest so that we can deliberate on a better way to choose for you. You cannot go. No man in Uwani has ever stood up to me. I, Ojadeli, the only man who wrestled with the gods and came up with my head up high. I'm still wondering how that weakling stood up to me and I couldn't bring him down. Ojadeli, my friend, the strongest man in Uwani. The greatest warrior of our time. He whom the gods and man fears. As long as I cannot stand on your way to the throne, the princess is yours. And nothing can change this. Hey, <sighs> Jadi, listen. When you become the king, 
You make me the only one of this community. Huh. His chi made him lucky this time. The next time I grab him, I will make sure that I cripple him and his chi. Hmm. Daddy. So what has the king decided to do now? Why can't he just choose you and give his daughter to you? You are the only man who can defend this kingdom. Why has he forgotten so soon how you saved him? And won victory for us in the battle against Atani. Hmm. The king said that he will find another way to choose between the both of us. I wonder how he chooses to do that. Just maybe he will set up another wrestling contest between the both of us. Hmm. That would be an opportunity for you to, to deal with that Azuna and put him where he belongs. I wish the gods will give me another opportunity. I will glue Azuma to the ground and make sure that he stays here permanently. <sighs> hey, Adele, why don't you talk to your father, the Ono? He will know what the king plans to do and tell you. Mm. I will talk to my father about this. And I believe he will tell me what the king plans to do next about this. No problem, my friend. I believe whatever the king plans to do, you are equal to the tax. I want to go and check my trap. I believe we'll see around. Hmm? Oh, let me escort you. My king, I understand your confusion, but you don't need to be confused. Everybody knows that my son is the greatest warrior that we have in this village. He has helped this community to win battles. And let's not forget, my king, that my son has saved your life on several occasions. So I think all these, I mean, all these points are enough for him to become the king after you. Oh no. We all know that your son is the greatest warrior in Mubane. Yes, I owe him my life because he spared, saved me during the battle with the Tani people. But that will not make me go back on my words. You are my friend and you know I am an honorable man. My, my king. It will not mean going back on your words. The point remains that my son did not lose the battle. It's only that he couldn't defeat his opponent. That's just that. So, I mean, that is not enough for him to lose what rightfully belongs to him. We all know that. But he is not the only man in this village. Hmm? Every man should be given an opportunity to. I, I understand quite well, my king. But do you intend to organize another contest to determine the winner? Oh no. I want someone that will lead this great kingdom. Hmm. Someone that will manage the affairs of our people. And someone that will love my daughter. I am still thinking of what to do when I hope to come out with something suitable for it. Well, I trust the wisdom, my king. Um, oh no, my friend. Sorry, I did not serve you the special wine from Unoka. <laughs> my king, you know, um, <clears throat> it's not late. And everybody knows that Unoka Span wine has always been number one. Mm. So, hey. <laughs> yeah, God. Yes, Your Highness. Go and tell Unoka to bring me this special Span wine. Okay, my Highness. My king, you see, like this very issue, let's handle it like the, the, the fat of a young lady. <laughs> so, like this. Ah, my baby friend. Oh, I'm 
The only man that walked into the lion's den and came out without a scratch. How are you doing today? Pojemba. The son of Agudo. The fearless hunter in our land. That is me. You did not go hunting today. I did. But I decided to come back early. You know, all the animals in the bush have learned the hunter's trick. <laughs> but, but no matter how well they learn the skills of the hunter, they can never outsmart your father Agudo. You can say that again. Uh, so how is it going? Fine, my friend. Mm. So, uh, Azuna, you must tell me, Azuna, how did you do it? Do what? You are the first man to stand up to Ajadili that he could not even put your back on the ground. Mm. I only did my best, my friend, and my chi was with me. Ah, your chi. I know your chi is always with you. Even when you are going for hunting, they are always with you. But in this case, there is something you are not telling me. <laughs> Ojemba. Ojemba, Ojemba. My very good friend. Well, I will tell you how I learned the trick that helped me. Very good. You know, when I heard about the wrestling contest, I decided to seek advice. Yes. Because I knew no one, I mean no one, has ever defeated Ojadili. So I decided to visit Ikenga, the undefeated wrestler in Induno. He taught me how to avoid defeat against Ojadili. Mm. You know, Azuna, my friend, a child who has no parents must always learn to advise himself at all times. And that is exactly what you did. You know? Your wisdom is a gift that you've got. I must recommend you. I am so proud of you, Azuna. You can say that again. You can say that again. You know, ah. I only do what my chief advises me to do. Yes. Well, um, Ojemba, my friend. Yes. I'm done packing the firewood. You know what? Just you are the one doing all these things, eh? This is, this is where I make my own money now. That is good. Eh? Azuna, my friend. I'm offered. I have no father. So I I talked to you about the other time. My answer hasn't changed, Ada. I don't love you. And I can't pretend about it. What does the princess have that I don't? Eh? What does she have that I don't? See, Azuna, I love you. I love you so much. In fact, I can do anything for you. Ada, you have to stop trying. You can't convince me to love you. Okay. Okay. What can I do to change your mind towards me, my love? Nothing can be done. I have to go now. Azuma. Uh, greetings, Nam. Greetings. Greetings. Where are you going to? I'm about to go and see my friend Eloka. 
Uh, well, uh, I have something very important to discuss with you before you come. Okay, sit down. Down. I have something very important to discuss with you. Father, yes. is everything all right? Everything is not all right. The king is adamant and does not want to listen to me. He said I should give him time. He wouldn't listen to me at all. But father, the king cannot just choose an ordinary orphan to go over me to get married to his daughter. So he can take over the throne of Owani. I've tried to talk to the king to make him see reasons why he should choose you. But he's adamant. I don't know what to do. Huh? All he kept saying was I should just give him time to think over it to know whom to choose. I don't understand. I don't know the way he reasons. And what other way could he be thinking about? How would I know? How would I know? All I want you to do now is just get yourself ready. Whatever way he wants to take up his test, whatever test he brings up, you will excel. Just get yourself prepared. But the point I must make clear to you here is this. Try as much as you can to prove your love for the princess because that's the heartbeat of the king. A man that will love the princess and as well take care of the kingdom. So try as much as you can to be ready Whatever test he comes up with, so that you can excel. <laughs> Father, I am ready to do anything to take over that throne and to become the rightful king of Owani. I like the sound of that. You must marry the princess and take over the throne. All right, Father. I will have to be on my way now to see Eluka. He must be waiting for me now, Father. May I achieve you with you, my son. You see? That's my son. Lion, the cat's lion. <laughs> Like father, like son. <clears throat> father, why don't you allow me to choose who I want to marry among the two men? No, my daughter. I don't want you to do that mistake so that the other will not feel cheated. Father, I am the one to marry here. I should have a say on whom to marry. I love one of them. Which of them do you love? I love Azuna. Azuna is strong and humble. I think he deserves the throne. Azuna is an orphan. He's a common hunter. I don't think he loves you the way you love him. Hmm? I think he's only pretending so that he can have the truth. Father, Ojadili is very arrogant. And he might become tyrant if he takes the truth. <laughs> don't worry. I know what to do. To know among the two of them who really loves you. Hmm? I have something to do. What do you want to do, Father? <laughs> My daughter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't worry, my daughter. Don't worry. <laughs> I think it's time you stop begging him. You have begged him enough. He doesn't love you. And he's not going to change his mind. <laughs> I came on. Did you see the way he moved at the contest? The only man that Ojadili could not put on the ground. My friend, he moved so swift and strong. Mm. In fact, I loved him more after watching him wrestle. And I'm not going to give up on him more. What if the king chooses him and he marries the princess? <laughs> <laughs> you are wrong, my friend. That is not possible. Now listen, Ojadili is Ono's son. 
and Onowu is the king's best friend. Not to forget that Ojadili is the strongest wrestler in this community. And he has saved the king's life several times. But my Azuna is only but a common hunter and an orphan. So tell me why the king would choose Azuna over Ojadili. You are right, my friend. I don't know why the king is still hesitating. Well, I don't know too, but I know that the king is going to choose Ojadili. And Azuna will be mine at the end of the day. I press so. Anyways, enough about Azuna. Tell me about it. So what has been happening? As I'm more, this is my decision. So, I need your support on it. Viking, your decision is wise and shall be carried out. Uh, please, I want this to remain on both of us. Huh? Till the final decision is taken. <sighs> You know me, my king. You can count on me. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Thank you. Greetings, my king. Uh, greetings, my son. You're welcome. We invited you to the palace. I heard the princess is sick. So I came to check if the rumor is true. Yes, my son. It is true. My daughter could not walk up this morning. So I sent for the chief priest to come. He has gone. Mm. Came back to tell me that my daughter is suffering from a certain illness, and the only cure to that illness is water from Akuma River. What kind of water is he talking about? And how can I find it? Patient, the great warrior of our land. Patient, the water that cures all the illness is from Akuma River and is located in the middle of Ajago Forest. The same Ajago Forest? Yes, my son. The same Ajago Forest. My king, if it pleases you, I shall travel to the Ajago Forest and get the water from the Akuma River to save the princess' life. My king, let me bring the water from the Akuma River and save the princess. If both of you wish to make the journey to Ajago Forest, in order to save my daughter, the princess of this land, who am I to say no? Or who am I to stop both of you from going? You cannot go home and come back tomorrow. So that chief priest for the fire would have Thank you, my king. Thank you, my king. choice. He was there and he was the first to choose to embark on that journey. And if he goes and succeeds and saves the princess, we will have no choice then to lose. Moreover, 
If we don't go and the princess dies, we'll still have nothing to fight for. Let her die! Let the princess die! I don't care! You are my only son. I can't allow you to go to Ajago Forest. For no reason. Not even for this kingdom. Not to talk of the princess. You are going nowhere, Ochatini. Let Azuna that has accepted to go, let him go to the forest and die. Then you can ascend the throne. Father, I cannot go back on my words. If I do, then I'll be considered a weakling. Says who? Who says you're a weakling? You will not go to that forest. But Adele, a living dog is better than a dead lion. You are going nowhere! Father, I have spoken and I cannot go back on my words. Your words cannot overrun mine! But Adele, come back here! But Adele, you are going nowhere! You cannot die for this kingdom! But Adele, you cannot die for this Azuna, son of Ivenna, your wisdom is your victory. Why have you crossed paths with me second time today? Is it true, wise one? Is it true that there is only one man that has gone to the Ajago forest and came back alive? Many believe it to be mere rumors, but it is true. Anachebe, the true son of Mbiani, journeyed to the Ajago forest and came back alive. Only him can say what lies on the path to Akuma River. Greatest story of our time. If there is anybody that can go to the Adjofia forest and come back alive, then it is you. Man and spirits fear you, my great friend. Hmm. My father said that I should not go. He is afraid of the Adjofia forest. I, Ojadali, have fought several evil spirits and I conquered them all. So I'm still wondering what is it that is in that forest that that everybody is afraid of. I heard that the edge of our forest is a place where evil in our village and the neighboring villages dwells. It is haunted by spirit day and night. I am not afraid of any spirits or evil spirits. I am ready to fight any spirit. And I believe my chi will always back me up. <sighs> my friend, I would like to go with you to the forest. So I'll see it for myself as well. And tell stories about it when I return. Mm -mm 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 -mm. My friend, I don't think that is a brilliant idea. Stay back home and take care of your family. They need you. Dadly, you know that I've been in this village all my life. Eh? I've not gone to other places or had any adventures. Let me go with you so that I'll see something new. No, I still insist. Stay back. I'm not ready to lose you. Please. Dadly, you are my friend. Eh? I'll also be your companion. Okay then, if you insist, prepare yourself 
for we are leaving tomorrow by sunrise. Are you ready? Ah, why not? I'm ready. As long as you are with me. <laughs> are you sure about this decision you've taken? Because I'm very sure no one has gone into the Ajago forest and came back alive. Except one person. Oh, come on. That is a male rumor. I don't believe it. It is not rumors. It is true. And I've found out about it. And I've asked about it. What are you going to do with this information? I'll have to find out what to expect in the forest of Ajago. I have to leave now, my friend. Azuna! Azuna! Why are you not listening? Azuna! What is wrong with this man? May the gods be with you. May the gods protect you. What is it? Wait, wait, what, uh, uh, what is this? That you send this young man to a travel for us? If we know, it's, it's not proper. You said I should give you time to think about it. Now, after thinking, you didn't talk to me again. You didn't consult oh, no. me. I am the king of this community. Hmm? And my decision is final. I don't need to consult anybody. Apart from my chief priest. Because it has to do with... Tradition. Ibe, 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 what I am saying is that my son is involved here. My only son. And Ajago Forest is not a place where people go to, to, to joke. I mean, eh? it's just like us going to risk, risk the life of these children. It's an uncalculated risk. Ibe, please. Are they not the true sons of this community? Ibe, they are. They are. Now he wants to marry my daughter. And he wants the throne. That is the process I want him to go through before he ascends his throne. Uh, yes, he must go through a process, Igwe. But not this. This one is too risky. Eh? Oh no. Igwe. Leave my palace. Igwe, what I am saying in that sense is that you should cause. Oh no, me. leave my palace! Sorry, not that I'm raising my voice, Igwe. But consider your stand, Igwe. My only son, Biko. Igwe, Biko. Please. Hi. When I call, when I call, hi, when I call, my love, please don't go. Please, I don't want you to go to your job here. Yeah. No one ever goes into that forest and comes back alive. Please don't go. Adora, don't worry about me. I've taken my decision, I've given my word, I will stand by it. Even if it means I will die for it. Azuna, why are you so wicked? Why do you want to go and die for someone that does not even care about you? Someone that does not even love you? Living does I love you so much in pain. I don't understand your feelings. But I can't help it. I'm sorry. Azuna, please don't go. Azuna, please. Azuna, please.
Now, you all are ready. Remember all I told you. Be very careful. Don't collect anything from anybody in the forest. Remember, many of them are restless spirits. And restless spirits are evil spirits. Always listening to your instincts and your tree will guide you to the right path. Yes, I greet you, the young men of Huan. May the gods of our land protect you and guide you. May your chi show you people the right path to follow. May you all go and come back safely. He said, you can now go. us now. Continue again, no? Ah! What do you mean you cannot I continue? I cannot, I cannot, I cannot continue! Ah! You can't continue what? Ah. See, I cannot continue again, no? I'm not the one I want to marry the princess. You're the one I want to marry the princess and become the king. Ah! I, can't, I cannot come here and die, you. See, I'm, I can't continue. We just started the journey a while ago and you're telling me you can't continue. Hey Luca, I want you to stay back home so you can take care of your family. But you insisted that you want to follow me. And now we've not gone anywhere. You say you're tired. Hey Luca, stand up, let's go. Say I cannot continue. I'm not following you again. Ah, if you die here now, you'll not make me the only way again. Ah. Say I cannot continue. Luca, this place is not safe. Come, let's go. Ah. Hey, look, this place is not safe. Let's go now. 
can't go. I will leave you here, Eloka. Hey, Eloka, I will leave you here. Dad, listen, I can't, I can't, I can't continue. So you are, you are leaving me? Eh? by sending those men into the evil forest. As a mom, I could not go back on my words. I am a king that cannot lie to his people. Mm. I wanted to know among these young men who loves my daughter, but none of them declined. I pray that the gods and the chi will show them the right path to follow. My king, your word is wisdom. I also pray that the gods of our land will guide and also see them through, at least for us to know the best king and also the best husband to our princess. He said, as a mom, I do not wish the elders to know about this. Let it remain within us. You can count on me. Nobody will hear this. Fearless warrior of one, your journey must end here. You cannot go through this path unless you have a gift that pleases me or you wrestle me for the right of passage. I am Ochad Lee. The evil spirits and humans are afraid of me. So who are you to stand on my way? Leave my path now, or else I will destroy you.
fearless warrior of one. You have two options to choose from. Either you go back to Uwan empty-handed or you wrestle me and give up your friend's life as a sacrifice. Which will you choose? Ha! <laughs> Daddy! So, so you want to wrestle with him and give up my life to him? Ah, no! That cannot happen! I cannot just come here and die like that. No. Hmm. What I do? Hold it. What I do? Ah. I have nothing to give you. But if you insist you want to wrestle with me, I am not afraid of the evil spirits. Then so be it. Your journey must end here, Azuna, son of the Forgotten King. If you wish to continue on this journey, you must present a gift that pleases my heart, or you wrestle me for the rite of passage. I have not come to wrestle you, for no one wins a battle against his chi, and no man raises his sword against his ancestors. Lest he be struck with blindness. What gift do you have for me, son of the Forgotten King? Bring peace and rest to your soul and subdue all the anger in your soul, immortal warrior.
Who knows if they are still alive? I doubt it, my sister. I doubt it. It's been two days now and nothing has been heard about them. And I warned Azuna. And I warned him. But he wouldn't listen to me. And look at this. I don't know, my friend. You did your best. He made his choice. And there's nothing more you can do about it. I still believe that Azuna is still alive. And I believe he will come back to me. May the gods bring them both back to this village. We cannot afford to lose our strongest warrior, Ojadele, at this time. It's okay. They will be back, okay? It's okay. May you live long, the king. I brought you the water from the great Akuma stream. How is the princess? I hope I'm not late. My son, you are not late. You're welcome. God. Go and tell the Uno. That's Akuma what I see here. Go. Okay, your highness. My king, may you live long. I hope I'm not late. This is the water you asked for, my king. Hey! How did this happen? How did he manage to survive in that evil forest? Just like you, my brave son. How? Hi. Father, I rest soon with the evil spirits and the evil forest. I lost my very own good friend, Eluka. And yet, Azuna came back home unharmed. How possible is that, father? Are you asking me? 
Are you asking me? Huh? That boy is becoming a threat to us. We have to do something about him. Hi! Buenaco. What is the king planning to do next this time? Well, you see, my ears have been on the ground all this while. The king has never been as confused as he is right now. But if you ask me, he does not have any plans for now. Hi. Why has the king chosen to deny me of what is rightfully mine? Why? Well, maybe he wants you to suffer before you get it. And maybe he wants you to prove your greatness to the entire community. Greatness, you said, Father. After all the battles I've won for one village, yet my greatness is not visible. Hmm. My son, my problem is not what you're saying now. My problem now is Azuna. Azuna. Coming back alive is just like starting all over again. Hey! Donato, bro. King, this is the time. The whole community has waited for too long. It's the time for you to make a choice. Yes, my king. We believe in your wisdom. You just have to make a choice. And set us out of this anxiety, please. Choose now, my king. Since the gods have the final say, then we allow it in the hand of the gods to choose. Let them choose. I greet you, people of Owan. For many market days, we have sought ways on how to choose who to be our next king or who to take over the throne from me. Both of you have always proven capable of taking care of my daughter and my kingdom. I have lost ideas how to choose among the two of you. I have decided to hand over everything to the gods. As I more, proceed. You will live long, my king. Before us here, there is a fresh calabash. Whoever that mentions the number of the seed in this calabash will be the chosen one. My king, stretch out your arm. Hmm. Look at this of all for the help of the gods. Ojadele, step forward and choose first. May you live long, my king. 
The calabash contain 20 seeds. Azuna! Step forward. My king, may you live long. The calabash has 32 seeds. Dad! Open the calabash. Azuna is the chosen king. Oh, one again now. Indeed, the king can never be forgotten. Ezemu, what do you mean by a king can never be forgotten? Those were the same words the spirit I met in Ajago Forest told me. You are a descendant of Dikora, the brave warrior and king who died in the great battle of Atane. He had only one daughter, unable to choose for her a husband and also a successor to his throne. Before he died, the community was desperate to choose a leader. They has to get another leader. And that is how the kingship left your lineage. But now the God has made it right. Oh, the gods are wise. As a man. Today, as a king of Owani, you have been anointed as a crown prince of this great kingdom that will take over after my rule. For me to fulfill my promise to the gods, I am going to hand over to you, my daughter, Princess Olama, marriage. Olama. Yes, father. May the gods of our land. Bless this great union. Say. Yeah. 